So I saw this interesting comment on YouTube where the guy is saying there's no point in using a VPN when your ISP knows that you're using it. And to be fair, he's actually correct that yes, your ISP does know that you're making a connection to a VPN server because you have to understand that the job of your ISP is to route or route your internet traffic. So let's say for example, I'm on my Fire Stick Lite and I want to make a connection to a VPN server in Texas. Now my ISP needs to send that traffic from my device through the internet onto that VPN server. So yes, they know that I've made a connection to that VPN server, but no, they cannot inspect that traffic because the whole point of the VPN is, is that you create that secure tunnel and all traffic in that tunnel is encrypted, which means your ISP cannot see the contents of it. Yes, they know you made a connection to that VPN server, but no, they cannot see the contents of that traffic. So with that in mind, I thought I'd make this quick video today and answer some of the other common VPN type questions. So things like, do you need to use a VPN when using Real Um, Are all VPN videos sponsored? This one isn't. Does the device that you're using impact the VPN speeds you get? And questions like that. So do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's if you're new started. to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So first up, does your device have any impact in determining your VPN speed? Now, the quick answer to that is absolutely yes. You have to understand that when you activate your VPN, it's your actual device that's doing the encryption, it's creating that secure tunnel, it's encapsulating those data packets and sending them on to your target VPN server. So if your device is underpowered, if it has less RAM or a weaker CPU, it's going to struggle compared to a device that has more RAM or a better CPU. In the background, we can see my Fire Stick Lite and this device only has one gig of RAM. I've just connected to a VPN server in London, so very close to me. And let's press the back button. Let me do a quick speed test. So we can see on my Fire Stick Lite connecting to a VPN server that's fairly close to me. My device is getting around about 100, 106 meg downstream. So with the VPN activated, that's the kind of speeds I get downstream. Now if I jump over to a more powerful device like the Nvidia Shield, let's do the same test on that. So here we are on my Nvidia Shield and I've connected to the same VPN server. Let's now do another speed test. And we can see guys, so we're getting 146 meg downstream. So because this device is more powerful, it has a much better CPU, has a lot more RAM, we can see that clearly affects the kind of speeds we get on VPN. Next up we have, do you have to use a VPN when using Real Debrid? Now, me personally, I do use Real Debrid to access premium links. And when I'm using that service, I personally don't activate my VPN. And the main reason for that is, if you understand how Real Debrid works, anything you want to download or stream, anything that they've cached on their servers, you're only making a connection from your device, so your Fire Stick or your Nvidia Shield, to those Real Debrid servers. So even if your ISP checks the logs, the only thing they can see in those logs is Tech Doctor made a connection from his Fire Stick to the Real Debrid servers. They cannot see anything past that. So, and even if they need to download something new or even torrent something, all of that traffic, all of that workload is being managed by the Real Debrid servers and not your device. And once they have that new content, they can again send that to you over that secure tunnel and your ISP cannot see the contents of that tunnel. The only thing you have to be wary of is that make sure you've got the option for the secure port enabled in the Real Debrid settings. But just for the complete picture, the reason why some of you still use a VPN with Real Debrid is mainly because inside their privacy policy, there is a certain element of logging which some of you may not be happy with. Next up we have are all VPN videos sponsored and again guys this video is not sponsored but the only thing I will say to that is if you do see a link to buy a VPN like click this link for a discount or here's a VPN I use 
Typically those links are affiliated links, which means if you do purchase via that link, then there will be some commission or some kickback for that. The way I see it is if you're going to buy a VPN anyway, then why not support your favorite YouTubers or your favorite creators and buy it through that link. And I will just say that the links in my video description are affiliated. So if you do want to support me and you're looking for a VPN, do check them out. Next up we have, why is my internet speed so slow as soon as I activate my VPN? Now the VPN speed you get is based on a number of factors, including the device that you're using, including how busy the VPN server is that you're connecting to, but also things like how far that VPN server is. So let's say for example, I choose to connect to a VPN server in Australia, and you guys know I'm in the UK. What that means is if I now want to access uh, amazon.co.uk, that traffic will have to go from my device over to that VPN server in Australia, then back to any of the Amazon UK servers. So because of that longer round trip, it means I will have a much slower connection. Whereas if I choose a VPN server closer to me, maybe in the UK, I should typically see much better performance. Next up we have, what is the split tunneling feature of my VPN? Now this is a great feature on most premium VPNs. And what it means is you can activate your VPN, but at the same time you can choose certain applications which will bypass that VPN tunnel. Now a great example of this is I use the care application to access local media on my home network NAS drive. Now previously, as soon as I activated my VPN, because everything on my device was being sent through that secure tunnel, it meant that the care application could not see my NAS drive anymore. Whereas now I can tick on this box here, and that means even after I activate my VPN, this application will always be able to access my home network. Similarly, if you have other applications like maybe like BBC iPlayer or maybe Netflix, if you tick them here, that means you can activate your VPN, but these applications will basically bypass that. And that's essentially what split tunneling is. And if any of you guys are still with me, then if you leave the comment below VPN for life, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart that comment. And the last one we have, the big one or the tenuous one, or the one that I'm sure will generate lots of comments below. And that's basically, does everybody need to use a VPN? And for that, I would say that it's not a blanket yes or a no answer. It does depend on multiple factors like your location. Are you trying to stream something or download something? Are you trying to use torrents, the source of that content? So all those factors combined, that's really how you can determine whether you need to use a VPN or not. So. I know people that only use Netflix and Disney Plus, that's the only things they really do on their device. So in that scenario, I really can't see any benefit of using a VPN unless you're trying to access some geo-restricted content. And I also know people that only use their streaming devices with third-party applications to access all the third-party content, but they only do that with the VPN activated. In fact, they actually configure their VPN that as soon as the device starts, the VPN gets automatically activated. And on the other side of the spectrum, I also know other people in certain parts of the world, they stream everything, they literally just use all of the applications you can possibly manage, and they never use a VPN because they don't want to. And because of their country and their current streaming laws, they can pretty much stream anything and they have no need of using any kind of VPN. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Please do leave me a comment below and let me know if you are somebody that always uses a VPN or maybe use a VPN in certain situations or if you're that guy that never uses a VPN. So do leave me a comment below and let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.